Hi, welcome back to Meg's Diabetes World. <clears throat> Current blood sugar, 7.5, so we're doing pretty good. It's been a while since the calibration, but we're still within target. If you take a look here, this is yesterday. We just get it. So where I went high, and then I came low, and it took me a while to come low. And in the last video, because I taped a couple on tape days, it went up, and now during the evening, I was perfect in line. Sorry, it didn't really get, show it that great. Oh, we're improving. We're 78% time in range, 22% above 10, 78% in range, and 8.6% average sugar. Pretty good. Not as great, but pretty good. Today, I want to talk to you about pump control and how this will differ from your pump or from your This channel is provided for informational purposes only. Contact your physician for any diagnostic or treatment plan. The pump is a little different and will take some getting used to. So be, be aware of this. My pump has become my external friend. I've gone into other videos where I talk a bit about why I enjoy a tube system or an attach. There are new ones where it's more and more on the arm and you don't have to be connected to a tubing. For me, I like this because the other one I could lose it, and who knows, whatever. Controls also, you have to get used to two lines on your pump. Now, I show this as the pump and what your pump screen on the Metronic 780G pump will look like. It's virtually the same as here. So this shows it a bit better and a bit larger. So here we go. The pink on my pump, every pump is different. Every model of different works. Every model of the pumps can work differently. Here we have the basal rate. Now, most pumps, you are set at a certain basal rate. And from, I don't know, from midnight to 3 a.m., you're on one unit. And from 3 to 9, you're on six units. I'm just pulling numbers, but this one automatically modifies. So... I know it really kind of annoys doctors when they say, so what is your basal rate? Oh, I really can't tell you because it modifies. This is what your pancreas does. So this is mo modern yourself the same as any other pancreas. The blue lines, my pump automatically corrects. If I start to go up, it will give me 
blue lines. If I start dropping, it will stop giving me insulin. That's pretty much how the Medtronic pumps work. I'm not, I can't speak for the other pumps because I've never really had. I had one pump back when they were so basic. And ever since I've had the automatic shutoff, it saved me quite a bit. Trust me. Now, there's two ways this controls blood sugar. There's the manual mode and there's the auto mode. Manual mode is pretty much how every insulin pump works. You see it, you type in a number, it'll give you your insulin that you requested. With the Medtronic 780G and 680, was it 680? Or sorry, 770G and 680G or whatever numbers were, the pump proceeding by pump come with this auto mode, which automatically takes over doesn't mean you don't have to watch, you don't have to worry about it. Far from it, but it takes an awful lot of worry out of it. You can always distinguish whether you're in auto mode or manual mode is by this little blue shield around the number. Easy, easy peasy, right? Okay. I've talked about this little droplet up here. This tells me how my calibration is going. It'll go green and then a little and then it'll change to sort of a yellow color. Yellow color is saying, Hey, you're gonna have to calibrate soon. And then it will go into a red mode and red is kind of saying, hey, listen to me now. You need to do it now. If you start going high, it has an alarm for that. If you are approaching a high, you could also have that alarm. If you're dropping low or trending low, you can also have an alarm. There are many different alarms. Having them all on does not work. You need to have certain ones on and you don't have to worry about the rest. It also, something I forgot, that gives you the active insulin. That's the amount of insulin that you have taken into your body and is still working. What's here, if you type in for carbs for a meal, that will be subtracted. Now that will change, for me, I believe it's every two hours. Now the pump, because it's doing, if you have the sensor with the pump, and auto mode, it will do your blood sugars every five minutes, which means I think it's 288 times a day. And because of this, your blood, or your, sorry, I had a brain freeze for a moment there. You could, get into your time and range. And this is where I get these numbers that I've talked about a number of times at the beginning. You get your above, your below, and then your average sugar. Before, we didn't know this. The only thing we ever had, look, you can see me again and again and again, huh?
don't miss out on understanding time and range. The old system of hemoglobin A1C is for people still on multiple injection. This just takes it a next step up. You really want to utilize your pump for everything that is available to you. That applies to you. Your doctor will be able to distinguish what sort of pump. Now, this is not really the control part, but the tubing or the sites, whether you have the Omnipod or you have a traditional pump, has to be changed every three days. Your skin will start rejecting the insulin insertion device. Is that the correct term? But we'll use it. I don't know if it's the correct term or not, but we'll use it. We'll start irritating the skin. And just like needles, every time you inject it, you have to do it in a clockwise pattern. You could use the back of your arms. Now, for adults, they don't suggest that you use your backside. And a lot of times, a lot of adults are sitting or in jobs where they sit quite a bit. And it can get irritating. That's from personal. Now, if you think you'd like a pump, I have said this through many different pumps, is you need to learn how to do a needle first. I think most places will say yes, and you have to learn how to give a needle. It's great for you to get onto a pump and learn how to use it and control the features. But what happens if this is available one day? You're going to have to know how to give yourself insulin. Now, the pump's control has a microprocessor on here. If this breaks for any reason and it's still within warranty, you could call and when roughly two hours or so, they will get a new pump to you. I recently in September had to change the pump because the doctor said it wasn't working right. It was working right, but they used it as the excuse or the escape code. If you've had problems controlling your blood sugar, the pump may be a good option. Speak to your clinic or your endocrinologist or even a diabetic nurse about whether they think a pump will be right for you. Pump control. It's coming. It will take over the world. Do, 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 do. But it is starting to become a gold standard for diabetes care. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye now. My email is mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. Mikesdiabetesworld at gmail.com. <laughs>